In this video, we'll get an introduction to HTML email conditional statements with an excerpt from my HTML email mastery course. So let's start underneath the body tag and it's gonna start off with an HTML comment with the angle brackets, the exclamation point, and then the dashes. And before we add our if statement, I wanna share a resource with you for Outlook conditional CSS, which there's a link to in the course curriculum download. So this page on Stack Overflow is a great resource to learn about the Outlook conditional CSS statements and understanding the syntax. So we'll use Outlook conditional CSS statements or comments in order to tell Outlook how we want our emails to display. So this will include simple aspects of the design like the background color and the font family, as well as using ghost tables to make it so our responsive HTML email columns don't fall apart on Outlook. So further down the page, it's gonna give us some information on targeting the different versions of Outlook from Outlook 2000 up to Outlook 2016, which goes by number nine all the way up to number 16. And then we also have some information on using conditional logic to include inside of our if statements. So for the course template design, as well as all of the bonus templates included with the course, I use a very simple if statement, which will cover all versions of Outlook as well as Internet Explorer. And that's going to render across all testable email clients properly. And we'll be able to use the same if statement throughout the entire design. So we're going to be targeting Outlook 2000 with the MSO 9, as well as the greater than or equal to conditional logic. So it's going to be GTE for greater than or equal to Outlook 2000. So let's